Leaning in for a closer look, but very few visitors to the National Gallery have any idea about the extraordinary story behind this portrait of the Duke of Wellington. When a place like the National Gallery loses a treasure like Goya's portrait of the first Duke of Wellington, that's really sensational news. Alarming, too. In 1961, the painting by Goya was a star attraction. The British government had paid £140,000 after it was sold at auction. Within weeks, it was stolen. Exactly 60 years after the Goya was taken from its easel, I was given a glimpse of the police posters offering a reward of £5,000, along with ransom notes sent by the thief. It had pride of place at the gallery's entrance. It's the first thing you'd have seen when you entered and walked up the steps. The idea was that if there was going to be flood or fire, the painting could be very quickly removed and taken to a place of safety. They hadn't necessarily anticipated the fact that a thief was going to come into the gallery to um, relieve us of it. Nearly four years later, Kempton Bunton, a retired bus driver, solved the mystery by handing himself in. He'd left the painting unharmed in a luggage locker at Birmingham Station. Kempton Bunton. A British comedy due to be released next year suggests his motive was to raise money for war veterans so they didn't have to pay for TV licenses. He is not a thief. He borrowed your Goya to do a bit of good in this world. The jury cleared him. It may have been turned into a comedy, but at the time this picture was stolen, it was no laughing matter for the National Gallery. A considerable amount of money had been spent on acquiring it, and just a few weeks later, it had gone. Police believed a major criminal gang was involved. The missing painting became so notorious, it earned a cameo role in the James Bond film, Dr No. The anniversary of a famous theft may just give this old master a new lease of life. Juliet Bremner, News at 10.